your honest sons he face, great chieftain o' the pudding race, I bend them all ye tack your place. Hange try for them. Will are ye worthy o' a grace as long as my arm? The groaning trencher there ye fill, your humpies like a distant hill. Your pin would help to mend a mill when time and eat, while through your pores the dews distill like amber beet. The night, say rustic labor night, and cut you up where ready slight, trenching your gushing entrails bright like ony ditch. Then, oh, what a glorious sight! Warm, reeking, rich. Then, pound for pound, we'll stretch and strive, deal pack the hindmost on the drive, till all their well swelled kites be live, our bent like drums, and all good men must like to ride. <coughs> Be thank it hums. It's there that our their French ragu, or polio that would scar a sue, or fricassee that would mark her spew with perfect scunner, looked in with sneering scorn for you, and such a dinner. See on you now his trash, as feckless as a withered rash, his spinel shank again with lash, his knave and net who bloody floods and fields to dash. Ah, oh, how I fit. But mark the rustic haggis bed. The trembling earth resounds their tread. Clapping their wally neighbor blade, they'll mark it whistle, and heats and arms and necks will snap like taps of thistle. So, ye powers that mark mankind your care, and dish it out its bill of fare. Old Scotland wants nae skink and wear the jocks and lies, but if you want her grateful prayer, gee her a haggis. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll have a wee dram. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and we'll have a lovely wee toast to the Haggis. 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 